Alright guys, now today I wanted to talk about a rumour that is doing the rounds and that is Lionel Messi returning to Barcelona. So I'll read you the report. Barcelona president Juan Laporta said Lionel Messi's chapter at Barcelona is not over. 11 months after the 35-year-old Argentina playmaker ended his 21-year spell at the club and joined Paris Saint-Germain. And that is uh, reported by ESPN. Okay, so let, let's get into this, right? Barcelona are just poorly run. They, they've been poorly run for a while now. Now, Bartomeu was the, was the uh, president who really screwed things up um, with, with like just splashing money on like players that shouldn't be costing that much. Um, and Laporta came in and people thought, all oh, right, OK, he's going to change things around. He started he, like there was a few good signs when he first came in. But it seems a little bit like he's, he's sort of going the same way. Like where on earth are they getting this money on with the amount of debt, the, like debt they're in? Um, they're having to like do things to like get money in that no other football club has ever done before. Like what football club has rented out their stadium for weddings, renamed like their stadium when it's like got a famous name? Like obviously there are clubs like Arsenal and Man City who have um, their stadium names not anything to really do with the area or a stadium name. It's just like a sponsor. But that's different because Man City and Arsenal, they name their stadium after the sponsor when they moved into the stadium. So for Arsenal in 2006 and Man City in 2003, I think. Yeah, I think it was a few years before they had their takeover. Or was it? No, no, because it was the City of Manchester. OK, so maybe Man City are in it. Are in a, exceptions to that rule but their their sponsors sort of linked with their owners so that's a little bit different as well um but yeah the point remains no one really do, does that sort of thing when they're desperate so um barcelona really are desperate and i i just think it is it's time for them to just move on like messi's just turned 35 he's on the decline, definitely. He has been for a few years now. Let's let's not like lie to ourselves. He's still a brilliant footballer, but he isn't the player he was five, six, seven years ago. He he is now a player who off the ball is quite lazy, does doesn't really uh, contribute to uh, the team defensive wise, but he, when he gets the ball can still do magical things with it. That's the truth um so so they, they they just need to move on like he's psg it, it suits him because it's in a less competitive league and he, he still gets to you know play on the big stage in the champions league you know seven or eight times a season so that that, that that's a good team for him to be at where he is right now in his career i, I think and also, the co the cost. He, even if uh, he's like, is he? What's he got? I think he's got one year left on his contract. So, even if somehow he joins Barca this summer uh, for like I don't know twenty million, or next summer joins them on a free, the wages he will want will be ridiculous. Like he, even if Messi slashes his wages in half. He will still be on about three hundred, four hundred thousand pound a week, which I mean, Barcelona, Barcelona currently owe Frankie, Frankie De Jong wages. That's why he couldn't leave. So, how on earth are they going to afford Lionel Messi's wages? Like, you've got to pay the wages to your own players that you already own before you sign more. I personally think. Um, so yeah, to me that that's just absolutely mental. And also, I, I from the reports by ESPN, from what Laporte is saying, does does he actually mean as like Messi comes back as a player, or is it like a coaching role? Is it like something that's completely different? 
um, because he doesn't actually say return as player or like, I don't know, score more goals or win another league title or anything like that. It's just his chapter is not over at Barcelona. So that, that might not necessarily mean um, as a player, but then again, we'll, we'll, why would you say that whilst the player is still playing and doesn't really intend to retire anytime soon? Like Messi right now, it's not like he's uh, moving to America. Like it, it, it's, he's still very much going to be competing to win trophies next season at PSG. So to me, I, I, I can't see any other way in which he means as player because... At the moment, Barcelona have have got to focus on. Well, I say they've got to focus on the near future. They have also got to focus on the long term future, as does every club. But Barcelona have got so much trouble. Over, they're going to have so much trouble over the next one or two years because of the stuff they've put themselves through. That the. the they, they can't really think about what's going to happen in the long term. They've just got to sort themselves right, out right now. But they need to clear off players who are on, you know, big wages. They need to try and bring in fees for players. And they, they need to somehow just, like, get rid of all this debt they're in, else it's just going to be an ongoing thing until eventually, uh, I don't know, Spanish Football Federation or something just decides right we've had enough sort yourselves out or we'll kick you out which I mean to be fair it is Barcelona though and Barcelona do bring a lot of eyes to Spanish football so it wouldn't surprise me if um, Barcelona just get away with it constantly um, but we'll talk about it as an actual transfer assuming Messi does go back to Barcelona as well um, for me it's not not what Barcelona needs. He's, he's still obviously a very very good footballer and would still you know do well. But they've got so many options in in the forward line now. Like they've got, I'll list off a few names. They've got Rafinha, who they've just signed for like sixty million, who's going to be occupying that role on the right. So sign Messi would be stupid because of that for one. They've just signed Dembele down to a new two-year contract. They've got Memphis Dubai, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Robert Lewandowski, <laughs> Ferran Torres. Like the list is ridiculous um, to the amount of players that, that they've got on their books in, in four positions now. They they should be well sorted. They've got two two very very good players at least in every single. Uh, position on that front line. They've got two on the right in Dembele and Rafinha. Three down the middle in Lewandowski, Aubameyang and uh, Depay. And on the left they've got Ferran Torres and... Who did I say? There was someone else, I've just forgotten. <laughs> um, did it, did it, did it... Who else have they got on the left? I oh, know, maybe, maybe it was any six. Um, Aubameyang on the left still, obviously. So uh, they, they've got so many options up front, they just don't need enough of forwards. Midfield, they're, they're, they're not doing too bad in midfield either. They've got Busquets, De Jong, Cassier, they've just signed. Um, who else have they got? They, they, they've got a few other players as well, I'm, I'm sure. Gavi, Pedri, like, they've got options. Got quite a few young players. Defence is probably where they could improve most. And to be honest, I, I, I just think they... Need to offload a few players first before they think about signing anybody else with who they've signed this summer. So for me, this transfer would get a 5 out of 10 because if Messi did go back to Barcelona, he'd still be a very good player, but it's just not what Barcelona needs right now. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.